This is the upper body that I prepared for television. <laughs> Not thrilled. I want huge muscles. I don't know why. I'm handling most public doors fine. But the desire is there. The only problem is I know that if I want them, I have to go to the gym, which I can't do because I hate it. Because everybody else that goes is very good at it, and that's not fair. Like, I don't want to work out next to people who are amazing, right? Because then I just feel bad that I'm in their way. They all came with a plan and a tank top and a protein shake and a note pad. What are you writing down? Everything was heavy, again. Also, like free weights, dumbbells, somehow they will know what weight they need at the beginning of the exercise. Like, hey, I need the 45s now. How do you know that already? <laughs> I don't know what weight I need until I try to pick up all the ones that are heavier than that one. <laughs> and can't. That's how I narrow it down. <laughs> Start at one end, like, no, no, no. Or sometimes I'll do this move, pick one up, sit down, do one curl, be like, mmm, nope. <laughs> Not going the distance on that. <laughs> but even if you don't like the gym, people won't take that as an excuse to be out of shape. They're like, oh, you don't like the gym? Why don't you just run? You should try running. It's outside and it's free. <laughs> yeah, it's also the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> Have you tried running for longer than one adult minute? <laughs> very difficult. Like, running is the only activity I have ever done where the entire time you are doing it, your own brain is going, hey, stop this right now. <laughs> Nothing is chasing us, and we're not hungry. <laughs> That's why I think people who are good at running will get really cocky about it. They'll try to bring it up all the time. What do you do? I'm a runner. <laughs> That's your job? No? I just want you to know that I do it a lot. <laughs> like, I would never classify myself as a runner. I'm still at jogger status. I'd like to upgrade. I don't know how it happens. I know that you don't want to be a jogger, though, because everything bad in the news always happens to a jogger. <laughs> Turn on the news, a tree fell over on a jogger today. <laughs> Any runners hurt? No, they ran out of the way. <laughs> I'm also trying to learn to cook uh, right now because I never learned before I moved out, which was a mistake. My mom tried to teach me, but I was very arrogant about it. I was like, I need to learn this now. I know where the grocery store is. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then I tried that and realized that you can't because if you don't know how to cook, you also don't know how to shop <laughs> because ingredients are not together in the grocery <laughs> store. The grocery store is a place where someone has disassembled foods <laughs> and hid the pieces all over a building. <laughs> so then I have to walk around a warehouse trying to reverse engineer tacos from memory. <laughs> it's very difficult. So if I ever took a girl out on a date, I would have to go to a restaurant, and I'd always pay for things on a first date. I know a lot of guys get upset about that, right? They're always like, why should I have to buy her a salad? She's got a job, equal rights, or whatever. <laughs> and I kind of used to understand where they were coming from. And then I discovered how much makeup costs. And now I will pay for everything all the time. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. Because it's like a secret. You still kind of keep makeup a secret. And it's usually the answer to all the stupid questions guys have about you. Like, I love whenever guys like, why is she taking so long in the bathroom? Girls take so long in there. Yeah, she has to build a face in there. <laughs> Do you know how hard that is? I can't even draw a face on a piece of paper. You have to take your time because it's so expensive. It's like $100 for this big of a box and that's for this part of your eye. Like not even the whole eye is covered. Half the lid is $100. And every girl is wearing it. You can't not buy that. Because if you go to the house without that on, people are going to come up to you in the street and be like, what's wrong with that part of your eye, ma'am? You look so tired. You're going to be like, shut up. I had to pay for my own salad. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much.